Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. We're so excited you're here. If you follow along the show, you know Kushi. You know the crouton daddy, Matty Waxman. He's been on the show. One of our favorite guests. Oh, absolutely. Maybe no doubt of about all time. It. Today we're in My Fulton. My personal hero. Yeah, dude, you do idolize him a lot. <laughs> uh, we're in Fulton Market, north of the West Loop, uh, west of downtown. We are going to head to Kuma's Corner here today. Uh, we've done the Led Zeppelin burger there, which we absolutely loved years ago. Um, today they're actually going to do a crouton and then mixed with our favorite liqueur of all time, Jepson's Malort. You also know what? Yeah, kidding me? <laughs> so for that release, they're throwing this event at Kuma's. What are we going to have there? There's going to be croutons that taste like Malort. Ah. There's going to be cocktails made by Kuma's, but all of them involving, you guessed it, a lot of Malort. A lot of it. <laughs> and uh, there's going to be some cool people, some just some cushy attire. Yeah, You're going to see some really cool stuff. And then I think we're going to probably, uh, I think the game plan is we're going to get some Kuma's food, throw some cushy croutons, in up on that, and uh, have a little feast action for you guys. So. Very excited. Malort, cushy croutons, and Kuma's food. Dude. And number six with cheese boys. Unbeatable quadfecta. What a quadfecta it is. <laughs> Pumped your hair. Alright, you ready? Yeah, we're doing course one. This is the Chicago hot dog salad. It's got cut up <laughs> hot dogs, tomatoes, sport peppers, mustard, malort croutons, and uh, that might be it. Huh? I think we celery salt. A lot of celery salt. I think we try the croutons first. You have a crouton okay. in there? Yeah, let me get one. I think we try that solo. These are the malort infused croutons. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh yeah. They really that hit you a little late, but that's nasty. That is just like the shot. Needs a little something to follow it down. God. What type of handshake is a Malort crouton in an old style? My whole body like shuddered. Yeah. Like, a, okay, so not a, it's like literally like concentrated wormwood. So like imagine taking a bunch of the croutons, the delicious, by the way, the delicious cushy, cushy croutons and spinning it in just wormwood powder. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's incredible. what John told me what it is. So I'm gonna need a quick chaser. Let's see if it's better in a salad. Some hot dog in a salad, some mustard in a salad. Oh, that's good. This just might show how poor I am. Uh huh. That's delicious. <laughs> I love a hot dog salad. Maybe this is the way to get people to like salad. It actually works really well though. The hot dog with the mustard, like in a salad, is oddly not bad. All right, I'm gonna try a little crouton with the hot dog. I'm gonna do it with you. Let me find a crouton. I got some crouton in there and the hot dog and the lettuce. Cheers. Yeah, it's not bad. That's so gross. The hot dog has never tasted. The hot dog has never tasted better. I think the hot dog uh, hid the flavor for me. I have never wanted cold, cut up hot dogs more in my life. Those are like hilariously bad. How adorable is this though, by the way? Top notch branding. Okay, course one, pretty bitter. Glad we did it. How about we try something delicious? We got, yeah, course two. Course two is gonna be like the money maker. And for course two, should we do the Malort mixers? Ooh, like some drinks. Yeah, the Malort drinks. Some Malort cocktails. I love that. All right, Malort cocktails and uh, good food coming up. Okay, first and foremost, this is the gin Malort drink. <laughs> Matt just in this, by the way. Look how cute he is. Matt, you're looking pretty cute in the frame. Yeah, oh, you're in there. It's a wide lens, baby. It's a 10 to 18. Oh, you're in there. All right, the hard sell. Cheers. I mean, I'm a gin guy. I also love two types of liquor in one drink. That's so I'm, great. I'm a fan. The Malort does not punch me in the face. Right. The gin gives me a little kiss. Right. I'm a happy man. I'm a big fan of it. And then, all right, so we know when people watch these videos, they care about the food. What do we rocking? Okay, buffalo chicken mac and cheese. And then you got mac and cheese, but you had some additives. <laughs> oh, I like that, some additives. Some additives. So it's like, you know when you go to a diner and you can get like add stuff to your omelet or your skillet? I got the mac and cheese with the green onion, but I also got 
got bacon and jalapenos added to it. So it's just baked mac and cheese. And you can see that they put it back in the oven to get that crisp yeah. on it. And then also, that's the thing. We're gonna add some non malore because those are disgusting. We're gonna add some delicious kushi, almost naked. You guys, almost. You guys know I'm a huge fan of adding croutons to everything. Mac and cheese is one of the best crouton adding whoa mechanisms. Whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just do mine like this. Croutons are great add on mac and cheese. These are now sold in Kroger stores, Mariano's, Whole Myers. Foods, Meyer, and you can get them online. So if you're watching this and you don't want to worry about going out and getting them, uh, links below. Please support our dear, dear friends, Matt and John. We'd appreciate it. So not only are we having delicious croutons, Kuma's food, top notch, and then a comfort oh, food so like mac good. and cheese, like a casserole. All right, some Kuma's mac and cheese with some Kushi almost naked. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bro. Oh yeah. That is damn good. When places do macaroni and cheese with that kind of crunchy, like hard layer on top, just want a crouton. they are literally in like an elite status. Like that's how you're supposed to do it. Like if you make macaroni and cheese for a Super Bowl party, you better be crusting up the top. Every food item I've ever had at Kuma's is top notch. Bro. Their burgers are great, their sides are great. I have messed up an appetizer's menu so many times mm. at Kuma's at this location. This is a favorite of mine. Bro, Tell me when, when you eat this with croutons, that added crunch isn't amazing. So we were talking about this even off camera with other people. Corey has, has kind of turned me on to putting croutons in homemade burritos, putting them in spaghetti. Obviously they're good in stuff like salads and things, but if you need texture, we're texture guys. Add them to things that you think need a little crunch, and with, with the almost naked, you're not gonna like compromise flavor. That buffalo chicken looks so good. Bro, this mac and cheese is like some of the best I've, I've had in the city. I would say that the Led Zeppelin burger from Kuma's was maybe one of the like earlier day local videos we did. Cause Kuma's has kind of always been in the conversation of having one of the best burgers in the city. Oh yeah. And so we did it pretty early. And I remember being very, very impressed. This mac and cheese is unreal. Is mac and cheese on the Mount Rushmore of comfort foods in America? I feel like it is. Yeah. Nobody eats mac and cheese and doesn't immediately feel like they're hugged. I would love to know where mac and cheese was invented. Should we, for this video, look that up? I want to look up where it was invented. I think so. Who invented mac and cheese? The first modern recipe for mac and cheese was included in Elizabeth Raffold's 1769 book, The Experienced English Housekeeper. Well, there you go. So it might have been English. Well, there you go. I will say, by the way, I don't know how much this was or anything, this is the biggest amount of macaroni and cheese. This is insane. Even if Northern Europe invented macaroni and cheese, I'm gonna say that America perfected it. It's like most sports. It's like the Olympics. We didn't invent anything in the Olympics. We just are the best at it. I like the amount of green onions you got. A lot of scallions, and they really laced, yes, laced this bowl with bacon. So how do you feel about croutons, mac and cheese? You're in? Even if I didn't like love Matt and John and how hard they work, it's a obviously hack. It's a, hack. a crunchy sourdough bread works in a mac and cheese. Like obviously. You know what it's kind of like? It's like when you pair a garlic bread with your spaghetti. Of yeah. course that works well. This is basically just like easing the process. You're adding it to every bite. I don't think people give enough love to scallions and green onions. Like green onions are kind of the dark Oh, horse. the best. Like it's such, it's such a nice freshness and like tang and like zip. For the question today in this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you guys watch this show, it helps a lot. How about this? What is the best noodle for mac and cheese? Ooh, that's great. I understand that the elbow is kind of like the OG. That's the American move. I get that, but we've kind of seen, you can do penne, you can do cavatappi. We've seen cacio e pepe work really, really well in Italy. I'm a big penne guy. Penny is amazing. Huge it. penny guy. What is your guys' go-to noodle for a mac and cheese? Comment below. I'm actually kind of like, I love elbow. It's like, it would not be my first pick. I like a bigger, more substantial noodle. How do you feel about the drink? I'm obsessed with it. All right guys, we're gonna get out of here. This was such an awesome event. Please support so we can keep these types of events going. Our friends at Kushi. Oh yeah. Our friends at Kuma's. And our friends at Malur. Thanks for hanging out with us for this event. And we'll catch you in a new episode, guys. Dude, cheers. Cheers. Do a little Malort? Sure. Gin and Malort? I'll have a drink. Peace.